All right, guys. So now I want to show you how to set up push notifications using SNS. And this is useful if you want to send like notifications directly to apps, maybe device apps, uh, so cell phones, tablets, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you don't want to do it through SMS text messages, push notifications are another option that you can use, although they do require a little bit more setup than using traditional messages. So when you're in the console, what you need to do is head over to the push notification section. And in order to create a push notification application, you need to do a couple steps here. So let's take a look at what we're seeing here in this kind of visual guide. Uh, so we need to create a platform application and you know, there's Android, um, iOS and Windows and Amazon devices, of course, as well. Then you add the specific endpoints of your users. This can be done manually uh, if you have kind of a CSV of all your users already established, or you can do this programmatically whenever a new user signs up to register with your application. You can use the token that they provide to create a new endpoint. And then it just goes like normal. You just publish messages to the application and that gets kind of fanned out to all of your different clients. Now, one thing that I do want to point out when you're using this setup, the mobile uh, push notifications, there's two options. You can either push to the SNS topic and that SNS topic will distribute the message to all the subscribers. Or if you're interested in just a particular subscriber or just a particular person, so to speak, you can publish a message directly to them. And we're gonna see that in a few moments. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and actually create this thing. So I'm gonna scroll down a bit and click on create platform application. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different settings here. So application name, let's just call this the customer order application. I don't know, I'm out of ideas here. Um, now push notification platform. Uh, so this is important and there's a whole bunch of different providers that can send push notifications to devices on your behalf. So when you're using this push notification, I guess you can call it subservice or feature of SNS, you need to have a particular provider for which you are going to use to push these messages to these devices on SNS's behalf. So there's some setup that needs to be done in order to get that to work. So I think the most common one is probably Firebase Cloud Messaging. It used to be called uh, Google Cloud Messaging, but they recently changed their name. So if I click on this, then I'm gonna need to set whether or not it's enabled. It obviously comes enabled. Then I'm gonna need to provide my Google API key, and that should be accessible by logging into your developer account and then just grabbing that and putting that in here. Uh, so the same kind of concept applies to whatever provider you're gonna use. I'm not gonna tell you which one is best because they all kind of do the same thing. So whatever one you already know, maybe your application's already using a certain flavor, then that's the one you probably wanna use. But we're gonna keep it with Google Firebase here. And this isn't gonna be an example where I actually set all this up, so I'm just gonna put some gibberish in here and that should not matter. Uh, so moving on to event notifications. So you can have different SNS topics that are associated with this application that um, trigger on certain events. So whenever new users subscribe to your application, you can trigger an event and fire that to a different SNS topic. Whenever someone unsubscribes, you can fire that off. Whenever something is updated, maybe they're changing physical devices or they uninstalled and reinstalled, et cetera, et cetera you can fire off a certain event. And when a delivery failure occurs, you can fire off a certain event. So there's a whole bunch of different use cases for each of these different things. For instance, when something is created, maybe you wanna send a push notification to the user saying, hey, thanks so much for signing up for my app. I appreciate it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when something gets deleted, that tells you, hey, this user doesn't wanna be my customer anymore. Customer anymore. So maybe you wanna send them a, a message or a coupon code for 10% off or something. So you can really get creative with this stuff here. Here to send uh, kind of follow-up notifications depending on what event actually gets triggered. Um, so, so now for delivery status logging, this is again the same as what we were talking about when we were creating the SNS topic. I'm not gonna repeat this stuff. Go ahead and look at the uh, sub video where I talk about delivery status logging and all of its pros and cons. Uh, so we're gonna click on create platform application now and platform, oh, you know what? This is actually, it's trying to authorize. So I think if I use Baidu, it doesn't actually check. So you can just put whatever in here. Oh, yeah, so that works. Uh, so that's kind of cool. At least uh, AWS validates your Google API key before it lets you create this thing. So now what are we looking at here? Uh, so we can see now we have an ARN that corresponds to this whole application. So this is kind of your SNS topic for the whole application, right? So if you send something to this, if you publish a message to this, it's gonna go to all of your endpoints 
Right now, I don't have any endpoints, right? Because we just created the topic. But now I can start creating application endpoints for new users. So you need the device token here, like we're seeing. So every device has a token that gets provided when you're using the Android or iOS or Windows or whatever SDK. And you need to use that to register with an API call to create the application endpoint. So say on the device, you get a token from you know using the SDK, say it's one, two, three, four, five. And then you can also add some arbitrary data, maybe the, the user ID of this person, or actually that's down here, but maybe like the date and time this happened, all sorts of stuff. This is just gonna be gibberish again, doesn't really matter for this application example. And then you can go ahead and click on create application endpoint. So then what are we seeing here now? So we see that this got created. Notice now that we have something new. We have something after customer order application. And this is the ARN that corresponds to this particular customer. So if this is me and my cell phone, you can't see me right now, but I'm waving around my cell phone in the air. I just subscribed my cell phone to this application. And if I wanna subscribe your cell phone to this application, I would need to do the same thing. Now, say I only wanna send a message to just me, say I'm special, right? I, as a application, would publish to this ARN, and that would deliver to just me. But if I wanna to deliver to everyone in this application, I would publish to this guy which is the ARN of the customer order application. So you can see there's different capabilities here, either to publish to everyone all at once or to publish to particular people. So, so there's a whole lot of depth that goes into sending push notifications and a, lot of, a big learning curve that you need to be aware of to set this up, but hopefully you found this section useful.